demand. To show you influence, Milus was the obvious choice. My father's going to rise from the grave and break every bone of me. Nonsense. You sent our offer to make amends, like a reasonable ruler. An offer that he can't possibly refuse. It's like I got down on my knees and I licked his boots. If it works, it's worth it. The wounded pride will be restored when your son is king of the realm. It's hard to think that far ahead when you're licking boots. It was a ridiculous feud in the first place. Don't you think you've done and said enough? Just shut up and leave me to my shame and hope my men don't hack him to pieces the moment he shows his bastard <coughs> face around here. You know, you picked a hell of a time for me to quit drinking. wishes you had a beard like mine. There are women like a beard tickling them under the kiss. Yeah, really? Is that so? Much? And how many women have you kissed? Ah, oh, plenty. Um, one. Yeah. Mum. Just mum, that's what I thought. Anyway, I don't think it has anything to do with my kissing, thank you very much. Tell me what happened every juicy bit. It's been juicy bits, months. It's just that I said, you know, I wanted to give her some flowers, and then I said they'd be kissing. That could be the kissing. Are you cured? You're cured. How do you feel? Open up. Open up. But I was right. The sun cured her, but if the sun cured her, why not the others? Lady, tell me everything that happened. I don't remember. It's just talking about nothing. And now I'm here. <laughs> Mont, let the lady go. Are you sure? I'm sure. Let her go. I don't want to get tricked. No! Why her and not the others? What's different about her? Is it that she's a woman? Yeah. Mons, these flowers only seem to open up in the daytime. I think we could be on to something here. Yes. This changes everything, don't it? <laughs> Lady, uh -huh. when's the last time you paid your taxes. Okay. Have you got money now? Months leave her alone. Janza wants to see me. He wanted to surprise you with a romantic dinner. Dinner? It's the middle of the day. I, I don't know, but I, I thought if I covered your eyes, I'd help with his surprise. And if I told you it was me, you'd know Janza sent me. That is the stupidest thing I've ever... Forget about it. I know you meant well. You act surprised when you see Janza. Yes. I like surprise. <sighs> This is such a nice surprise. <laughs> It's probably not as good as what the Queen's kitchen serves you, but, uh... I 
but I got the best of what the outpost has to offer. It's perfect, Janzo. You're perfect. Do you know, every morning when I wake up, I think that I'm still dreaming. And then when I realize that I'm not, I just got so sweaty. You don't have to say that. But it's true. Over there. Get a strap and wet up. The Titans and it dries. Mm. Oh, you imagine. Come on here. Take a break, Pete. We should eat something. Uh, finish up this side. I'll be back. I'm sorry. And you're welcome. Uh, thank you, I guess. What can you lift? There's a um, ball egg, oh. salt, mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Um, Lots of caramel. Yes, Guy yeah. Mac. Mm. I went to the kitchen and made it myself. Oh. Oh. It was horrible, isn't it? <laughs> I've eaten worse. I ate um, rancid venison once. <laughs> it's not funny. I made that for you. It's a good thing you have people cook for you. <laughs> As queen, I will need to stop laughing. Right, that's it. Back to work. <laughs> Come on now. It's not all that bad. I'm eating it, aren't I? Yes, I just wanted to show that I appreciated your hard work and, right. and that you risked your life for me, even yeah. though you just got a good drubbing in there. Actually, didn't really accomplish much. <laughs> yes. Kind of. So, um, tell me a bit more about yourself. I've realised I hardly know a thing about the girl I'm so crazy about. Um, I don't know what to say. Um, I lived in the capital, in the poor quarter, and then, um, I came here. Hmm. It's very brave of you, isn't it, to be travelling so far? Did you just come in a trade, Catherine? A military convoy, actually. Oh, that's all. Sorry, I've heard about how the soldiers on the roads treat young women. They don't lay a hand on me. Really, that's fortunate then, isn't it? No, I, I wasn't trying to imply... Let's just talk about something else. Of course. I've upset you, haven't I? No, it's nothing. Just don't do that. You've done nothing wrong. Really? Because it feels, Naya, like, like it's only around me that you're ever upset. It's not you. I just show it around you more because I'm comfortable with you and I let my guard down. Well, that's good, isn't it? Do you want to tell me what's wrong, Naya? I promise I'll, I'll, I'll do anything I can. I'm a bad person. And I don't deserve you. What? I think it's me that doesn't deserve you. I shouldn't have come. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't do this. No, 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 Stop. Please don't leave. I'll do anything, okay? I can change. I can be a different... Just stop it. I've already told you. It's nothing you've done, Jan. So it's what I've done. What do you mean? <laughs> what have you done? Oh, no, no. Please don't cry. No, you don't cry. What could be so bad? Nothing. I have to go. No, please wait. 
You can trust me. I want to do anything I can to help you. You won't want to after I tell you what I've done. There is nothing that you can say that would make me stop loving you. How about this? I'm the traitor! What do you mean? I'm the spy. I'm the one who let Dred go free. I'm sorry, Chenzo. It was me. It was my fault Dred got away. It was my fault he killed Gara, and it will be my fault when the Prime Minister. Naya, don't be so ridiculous. Please tell me you're not being serious. No! Please don't hate me. Does someone make you do this? The Prime Order threatened my family. The Prime Order threatened everyone's family, Naya. Every man, every woman, every child. If you really did what you say you did, you could have cost the lives of thousands. Do you realize that? Or even actually the entire realm. <laughs> what have you told them? I only work through Ambassador Dredd. He knows everything up to when he left. He killed Garrett. I'm sorry, Tanzo. I'm so sorry, but you have to believe me. I hate them more than anyone. How can you even say that when you're the one who serves them? They have my mother and my sister. So what? I can't believe he would be so insensitive. I didn't mean it like that. Did you really think that the Prime Order were just going to go and release your family? Hmm? Why would they, Naya? They're just going to keep asking for more and more. The Prime Order used you. But now you're going to go and tell Queen Osmond everything that happened, yes? And you're going to tell her why? Oh. And she's going to understand. For what I've done, she will take my head. I will not let her. You can't stop her. I'm not going to let anyone hurt you. Do you hear me? You might spend a lot of time in prison, but I won't let if anyone... If I turn myself in, my mother and my sister will surely die. They're probably already dead. Hey. If they are still alive, there is nothing more you can do. But maybe the Queen can. You have to turn yourself in, Naya. Right now. It's your only chance. Flowers like you hate them. Don't keep the stupid flowers on. All right. Mad at me. What? Shut up. This is because I grabbed Naya and dragged her into an alley. What? What? No. Nothing.
Listen, I need to talk what to you. What are you even doing here now? You promised me you would confess. I did, and um, sort of, uh, I left a letter explaining everything, but I have to go and help my mother and sister if I can, and then I'll come back and face my punishment. I told I you they're probably already Why dead. Why don't you come with me? I can't come with you. No, my work is here. And do you know, actually, even if I could come with you, I wouldn't. What you did was terrible. If you don't turn yourself in, I'm never going to forgive you. She'll have me executed. I know she will. Is that what you want? Do you know why? Because I told you I would never let that happen to you. But I'm also not going to betray my friends. If you haven't surrendered by now, I'm going to tell Gwen myself. And if I leave the outpost instead? <laughs> She'll probably have you hunted down. Goodbye, Naya. No. Gentle, no. Please. I was just on the way to see my queen. Oh, good. We'll escort you. I know she'll want a few words with you. And it was you who released Ambassador Dredd. Yes, Your Majesty. Don't call me that. In your mouth, it's a mockery. In the name of every god, why? They have my mother and sister. I was sent here under threat that they would be killed. And once you came here? Once you came to know the rightness of our cause, once we were victorious over Dredd and his army, you didn't think to join us then. Could have helped you. Maybe even helped your family. But instead, you released Ambassador Dredd, who then killed my Garrett. You were responsible for the death of Garrett Spears. If I had known he would have done that, I wouldn't have set him free, I swear. And since then, you've been hiding like a snake at my side, ready to strike. No, Your Majesty. I love you more than anything. You are guilty for treason against the throne. Against me. Execute her at once. Um. Your Majesty, you know, I'm a big fan of executions, I really enjoy them, but why the rush? And we could just interrogate her, find out what she knows, find out what she's told, the prime order. I'll tell you anything you want to know. So be it. But she must die imminently after. Every breath she takes is an insult to those who bled or died because of her. And double her guards. In case she has any co-conspirators among us. Get out of my sight. So, when I am in your debt for the apprehension of the traitor, I hope you'll understand if I show my proper gratitude at another time. Right now, I'd rather be alone. Of course, Rosamond. I understand.
good that you come to the other side? Yeah, well, never again. How long was I going? More than a day. What happened? Reb's tribe tried to kill me. Need to get to Gwen before Garrett does. What about our journey to collect the stone to complete the key? Who killed the queen? Get up, I might need you. It is here that you'll surrender to us all the lands west and south of the Red Bank. That's what it says. And all I have to do is shake your hand. Shake my hand. Declare peace between us. And declare yourself loyal to the Queen. to mention that little addition. When he seems I've come a long way for nothing. I've given you everything we've been at war over all these years. What for a woman who claims to be a surviving royal? She is who she says she is. Any day now the Prime Order will march over that hill and hang every one of you for treason. And then I'll get your land anyway. If you join us, together we can defeat her. And together we can hang. I'd rather take the sure thing. You still only care about yourself. <laughs> That's true. I find it hard to believe you're ready to give up the best grazing land in the realm to a man you'd rather see dead. I mean, what's so special about this so-called queen? That she whip a man like you to your knees. Why don't you meet her and find out for yourself? Pleasure. I mean, that's what I'm really here for anyway, isn't it? Your alleged majesty. So respectful. I hear you've rejected Turban's offer of free land. Oh, I never agree the first offer. He's so poor that paying nothing is still too much. It'll all be mine anyway when the Prime Order attacks. Do you earn any land, Minus? As far as the eye can see. From every window in my keep. You have nothing. Well, the Prime Order owns that land. You merely manage it at a bidding. And, um, what is your title? I am a Lord Baron. Mylas. Even to use that term is heresy. You are just a humble servant of the Prime Order like anyone else in the realm. You have no title. You have nothing. I am not thrilled about the Prime Order, but I don't stick my neck out either. Same as anyone else who likes their neck. <laughs> you will be grossly overwhelmed. I'm confident that most of the realm will come to our side once we get started. It only takes a few boulders to start a landslide. Now I'm better off keeping what I've got. Even if it is under the Prime Order's thumb. Why would I risk it? What if I were to give you all of Tobin's land? Not just the lowlands. All of it. All of it. You really need my help, don't you? I am the Queen, Milas. And I will retake the realm. And after that, I will remember those who supported me and those who did not. 
The first will be richly rewarded. All of Tobin's lands. You swear it. Well, Tobin won't need any land, as he'll be married to the Queen. I will? You will. And I get all of Tobin's lands. I will grant you the Akesford title and land if you reunite the Akesford family under one banner, loyal to the Queen. You are one sly dog, cousin. What is your answer? <clears throat> you will have your two boulders to start your landslide. Your Majesty. My army will make preparation to march immediately. Was that an acceptance of that marriage proposal I offered so many days ago? Was. I, uh... I'm past the deadline. Is that right? Ooh. Twenty Agus for Bannerman will attend the wedding. One for each province in his vassal. Two Bannerman, one for you, one for Tobin. Two? <laughs> I'll agree to twelve. One for each red moon since Tobin's father died. Four. One for each season since the old moon broke. Ten. Five. Ten. Do you think four is better? Six. Done. Now, your people will supply all the festooning, ornamentation, flowers, and fanfare. Festooning flowers. What do you think this is? A royal wedding. She is the queen, is she not? This is a military outpost. We don't, we don't have any of that kind of stuff. So you do what you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, do, I'll do what I can. I've got a couple of horn blowers who can, who can do a kind of a fanfare, and any booze you want, you'll have to get from me. Fine, we'll get all the inebriants from you. Inebriants. <laughs> Here's to the matchmakers. Long may they reign. Leave it. I'll manage. Thank you. You may go. I require nothing more. A moment of your time? Come in. I hope you have good news. Have you found a cure? Guessing collapse, but um, that's not why I'm here. Why then? I've come to plead mercy for Naya. I have nothing more to say on that subject. Did you know that her mother and sister are being held hostage? So she says. What would you have done in her place? There is only one penalty for the crime of treason. You make the laws, you can change them. If I make one exception, then all the other spies that come after that will expect the same thing. Your Majesty, I have done a lot for you, and, and I'm this close to finding a cure for the plague things. You owe me. I owe you nothing. I am your queen. I am begging you. Please do this one thing for me. I'm asking you as my friend, please. I love her. You and I are together. I love her very much. I loved her too, Jensen. The journey makes it more difficult. But, but it changes nothing. Sorry, am I interrupting? No, your son was just leaving. What is it, Eleanor? 
um, the, the prisoner has cooperated fully. I believe we know everything. Execution is at first light. Mother, if there's anything you do for me in my entire life, please let it be this. I doesn't deserve to die. Yes, she does. Sorry, Gente. Take heart that we will grieve together. I don't even know who you are anymore. Well, the wedding is all arranged to our advantage in all respects. Thank you. You alright? Yes, yeah, fine. Fine, mate. My hand won't bathe. Understandable. Just because you're queen doesn't mean that you can't be human. That handmaid was your friend. Yes, perhaps my closest. Except maybe Talon. I know. Sometimes being boss can stink more than Remick done. That it can. There you are. You did the right thing, Gwen. Janzo. What's this about? Hello, Partridge. Griffin. Deputy Marshal, as I am sure you are well aware, my lady friend over here is going to be executed at dawn. That's right. And for good cause. Even so, I'd like to say goodbye to her, please. It's not permitted to speak to the prisoners after sentencing. I know, but we're all friends here, aren't we? Right? And as a friend, I thought I would bring you a tray of my finest ale. I cannot bend the rules. Beautiful friends, Chancellor. Also, free drinks at the nightshade until next winter. Let me see that. For all of us. Mm -hmm. The mistress approves. Mm -hmm. On the house, free drinks until next year. I just need a minute for that. Fellas! It's rather policy than a rule, turns out. Take your time. I tried to confess. I was going to tell her everything. I know. I know, but it's because of me that you're in here waiting to die. No, not because of you. I did this. No one else. I only wanted to save my family. I know. Cheers. I told you I wasn't going to let that happen. There's nothing you can do. Cinder moths. But when they wake up, they'll arrest you. No, they won't. Because they won't remember anything for hours before, possibly even days. Figures. 
when I find find the one woman I love enough, I have to send her away. Welcome to my life. I promise I'll come back. Mm. You can't ever come back. Promise me. They'll execute you if you do. Isn't he magnificent? Sure, I'd give him a go. trying to harm you now we need to leave who do you trust me has to be bad. Oh, your pardon. What did you say? Yes. Queen Wilson's actions are reported to you, the Queen's Council. Yes. The traitor Maya has escaped. What? I'm so glad that you're alive. You knew I was alive. 
just don't care. What are you talking about? Come on, come on. I thought she gave up on the drink. Let me ask you something, Barky. If the woman you were supposed to marry left you at the altar, just run off with another man, would you stay sober? I don't like to get drunk, but I see your point. Turn, turn the coach, you're back. Where's Queen? Here. You're going to want to sit down for this because you are not going Jesse, to leave. Jesse, you don't catch my miss. Right, where is she? Fine, suit yourself. Have it your way. Garrett is alive. I know. You know? Look, he's after Gwyn. I have to stop him. Too late. She's already gone with him. What? Wait, what do you mean stop him? You mean stop him from getting married to Gwyn? He doesn't want to marry her. He wants to kill her. What? He tried to kill me. Send me right in the gut. I barely survived. Sorry, Garrett wouldn't do that. It's not Garrett anymore. Right, they played with his mind. He serves the prime order now. Said hell to the three. I know it. I should have stopped them. I should never let her go with him. Which way did they go? They left on the main road. When? Yesterday. Yesterday? But they've been gone all night. Why didn't anyone go after them? It was Garrett. No one was going to suspect anything, were they? Everyone was just so happy that he was alive. I have to stop them. And where are you going to go? You have no idea where you're going. He's probably taking her to the three. He hasn't killed her already. All right. I'm going to summon some guards to go with you. No. All right, Gwen stands a better chance of staying alive if Garrett doesn't think whole armies after him. Then I'm coming with you. No. I'm faster than him. Besides, you're drunk. I'm not drunk. Last <clears throat> reaction time. Like I said, drunk. Okay, that wasn't fair. You should have warned me. Why would I warn you? Garrett won't. If they reach the fort by Mills Bend, then Garrett's going to have a whole contingent of prime order to back him up. You can't go alone. Look, I don't have time for this. There's someone else to help me. Talon! Talon! She can probably beat him, especially given his current condition. But if he is joined up by a contingent of Covenant guards, then not even Talon can take them on alone. This is why I need to go with her. All right, Aglesbury, let's go sober you up. First, I will make you a sobering tonic. That will take you halfway there. Then, hopefully, time will take care of the rest. It's got Gwen. I left yesterday and had about half a day's ride on us. Us? I'm not going with you, Talon. Look, I know you're upset I made his turn back yesterday, but trust me, as soon as you we get You speak an awful lot of trust. It's starting to wear on me. Look, I trust you, I just don't trust your queen. But I'm not going to risk my neck to save her again. Frankly, I don't know why you want to go after her. She hasn't treated you much better. She is my queen. And my friend. I don't have time to argue with you. I wish you well, I do. I just, this isn't my fight. No, you're not. 
drunk. I'm slowing down. I'm not as drunk. But it's time we catch up with them. I'll be totally sober. Sand. Two on one horse. One's in full armor. I'm willing to wager that we camp for the night. We'll find them. We'll catch up with them. Seem different. Just sober. She left you on your wedding day. During your wedding. I'm aware. And after all that, you still want to rescue her. Look, I am no stranger to making mistakes, all right? And that queen of ours has given both you and me more than a few chances to get things right. I figured I owe her the same courtesy. Can't argue with that. Guards and Gareth. Well, they must be packing up. Right, time. Uh, we could sneak in. I'll go through the front. You scale the side. I'm not one for plans myself. Stay with me in the 
prisoner. The rest of you, kill her.
shot. Janzi do. Darling! Do you need to pull out the eye? What? No! Yes, now! After this, we drop. I need you to do that three more times. So. Uh. Helen! Helen, what are you doing? That's one theory. Mm. They smell as nice as they look if you smell them. Uh, <laughs> angry again. Janza, why are you angry? Why would I be angry, Munt? Your girlfriend is a traitor. The Queen was ever killed, but she escaped. Now Mum is mad. The Queen went and got kidnapped by Garrett, and the town went after them, which means that the town, or Garrett, or Gwyn, or probably all three of them, most likely dead. And some of those I hadn't even thought about. Thanks for looking around. You're welcome. Excuse me. There. Could I trouble you perhaps to untie me? Please. Do that, Janza. You did it. You cured another one. Yes, apart from the I've covered them both in the same vise, and only one of them's cured. So what happened this time, hey, Munt? Oh, thank you, sir. You're very kind. Oh, well, maybe only the polite ones are cured. Munt? Take him to the nightshade, give him something to eat, keep an eye on him, make sure he's well and truly cured. I have to take this to the lab. Right. Okay. Come on. Okay. Oh, you're very kind. Thank you a lot. Thank you. Open the gate! Hold on! What's all this? The Queen! She's returned! Open the damn gate. Kept his fears. Lock him away. And double the guards. Get down. Are they all... Arrows. Did you cauterize the wounds? Mm-hmm. Well done. Did he have to be, um, you know, distracted when you did it, like I did? I didn't kiss him, Janzo. It's not what I was suggesting to him. I was just wondering if, if he was conscious when, when you were treating him. Is he going to be all right? Janzo. Mm. 
He boasted an admiral job. He's lost a lot of blood. But um, some of these wounds do look a little worrying. There's nothing more we can do. Now we just wait. So my friend. Vicar at any moment, you know his name. I swore an oath to send him away and keep him away. My loyalty and my word mean something to me, unlike some people. You seem to be doing just fine without me or my loyalty. What is wrong with you? And why couldn't you come with me? Whose side are you on? Whose side are you on? You say that you want to help our people, but every time you have a choice, you choose to put humans before us. I put the most urgent need before anything else. The key could wait. Gwen couldn't. Our people have waited long enough. I know. Sir, so when I went through the portal, I was so thick with ash I could barely breathe. And then black blood. My own people attacked me. I told you they were black. Black bloods nonetheless. How can I expect Gwen to trust our people if I can't even trust them? The again? black fists are not your people. They're not mine either. Are you at war with them? No. But... Do you live among them in the plain of ash? So you do. Talon, you have no idea. <laughs> The plain is such a harsh environment. We were forced to work together a long time ago, just to survive. And why should I believe you? When your tribe first sent us through the portal... I thought we, your tribe went willingly. We were tricked by the humans. We had no idea what awaited us there. When we first stepped out onto the other side, you know what the first thing we saw was? What? Fireworks. That's what we called them anyway. Like giant red snakes. A thousand hands long. Teeth the size of you and me. I didn't see any of them when I went through. Then you were lucky. The hides were so thick our swords and spears were useless. And guess who figured out a way to kill them? Red. Well, some of our Blackfist comrades. And how'd they do it? Blackfist archers shot bolts down the creatures' throats. Killed them from the inside. They found a way to make our worst fear our main source of food. They saved us all, Talon. So you just proved my point. You are allies with the Blackfist. We hunted together out of necessity. They're not our allies. In every other possible way, they're our enemy. With some of the things they've done. Talon, believe me, I want to keep them outside of this world just as much as you do. How did you survive so long in that awful place? Where did you seek shelter? We almost died. Storms of fire rained down on us. We found lava tubes. It cooled, or insulated, made our homes in them. So your people are safe for the time? Our people. Have you not listened to a word I've just said? How long do you intend to leave them there to suffer? Until the time is right. If I bring them through now, I would have started an all-out war. Gwen needs to know that she can trust us, and you would have made it a whole lot easier if you helped save her. So? If not now, then when? You 
see that this unlocks a great power. Something that can help both humans and blackbirds. That's right. Then let's go get it. spoken with the mistress and gave her a full report. Where's Naya? Actually, she escaped, Your Majesty. Then you will give me a full report. Whoever allowed her to escape will suffer the consequences. And I trust we will not repeat this mistake with Commander Spears? No, Your Majesty. Good. Now leave us. I need a word. Is this a test, or, or, or you really want me to... Right. I'll be in front if you need anything. I do, actually. Send me Janzo. Right, Your Majesty. <laughs> Breaking my heart. I used to tell you. Does it scare you that I know? That the Prime Order knows? What are you talking about? What have they done to turn you into this? slaughtered my family. I am the rightful queen. queen. No, you are no queen. You are just a selfish little girl playing dress up. How dare you! You're about to form a strategic union through marriage. You would have gained thousands of soldiers. <laughs> 